a lot of violins, banjos, and guitars made it into the lexicon of instrumentation of early America. Uh, if you didn't have one, you'd make one. You'd make it with a cigar box. You'd get a neck. You know, you'd figure out how to get some gut string and get it on there so you could have something to give yourself a muse, so you could, you know, relax. Might sit down on the porch in Mississippi, you know, and just start, you know. And start playing with some stuff, you know. Now, now what I'm playing right now has a beat to it, you know. Now, as we know, there were a lot of Native Americans, indigenous people that were around in the South at the time. Some of them became slaves themselves. We were occupying their land. They were obviously there. So we don't talk about it a whole lot. You know, we don't, in history, we don't think of like Native Americans being tied in with the blues, but here's all these African Americans that are around these people probably going into some, maybe there's still some villages that are nearby, you know, and they hear this beat, you know, and it's just. And he's playing this thing on this guitar. He doesn't know what he's playing, but it makes him feel good. <laughs> 